He is a rancher, horseman, photographer, husband, father, and gentleman. He is Bob Morehouse, the 2008 recipient of the Golden Spur Award. So many other words can describe this man who has worked to promote the traditions of ranch life, but mostly his actions speak louder than words. This multi-talented cowboy has many layers, but at the heart is a man who embodies the enduring spirit of the ranching way of life and Western heritage. Bob was born into ranching. His father, JC, known as Togo, and his mother, Lucille, raised their four sons, Ed, John, Tom, and Bob, in the ranch country around Benjamin, Texas. He carried on the traditions of a ranching family that traced back to the beginning of the 20th century. The Morehouse Ranch did things the traditional way, taking out the wagon, driving the remuda, dragging to the fire. All of these would become instilled in Bob as not just a way to work, but as a legacy to carry forward. He also learned early on what it took to keep a family operation running and the trials and tribulations of ranching life. Bob left the family ranch to attend Sol Ross University in Alpine for a time before transferring to Texas Tech. As a Red Raider, Bob earned a degree in animal science. Always knowing his life's work would be in ranching, he made his way back home with a stop in Guthrie at the Pitchfork Land and Cattle Company. This stop would last more than 30 years and be more than just a job. He would become a leader of one of the most historic and renowned ranches in the world. Tradition and forward thinking would merge and Morehouse would lead this majestic ranch into the 21st century. Bob's love of the pitchfork and his dedication is evident when he talks about the ranch where he spent more than half his life. I've got the best of two worlds, three worlds, <clears throat> whatever the saying is. Uh, I get to live on a historic ranch, get to manage it, get to live in that house there, work for good people, good cowboys, good cattle, good ranch, good horses, there's nothing better. And I've said that before, you leave on a drive in the morning, if you're in a good pasture, good, good cowboys, good ranch, uh, everything good, there's nothing better. He joined the Pitchfork in 1973, working as the ranch's office manager under the tutelage of then manager Jim Humphreys. In 1980, Bob was promoted to assistant manager, and when Humphreys retired in 1987, Bob was named general manager and vice president, only the sixth manager of the prestigious ranch since its founding in 1883. His management of the Pitchfork was very hands-on, he rode alongside the cowboys and knew about their lives and families. He knew every inch of the ranch. It wasn't just his job, he made it his life. Morehouse worked to ensure the stability of the pitchfork, which made its money with cattle and horses. Bob worked to advance the cow-calf operation by upgrading the breeding program to produce more marketable cattle. He also looked for new opportunities for stockers, giving the ranch more ways to keep the bottom line in the black. Morehouse, having been a lifelong horseman, also knows the value of the ranch's horses. The Pitchfork Gray already had a long-standing reputation as a solid, versatile athlete. And as the demand for ranch horses grew, Bob worked to widen the market for the Pitchfork horses. During Bob's leadership of the Pitchfork, the ranch earned the American Quarter Horse Association and Bayer Best Remuda Award in 1998. Bob has great regard for the prestigious achievement. It, what I, I've told the, some of uh, a past manager and some of the directors, I say this is, we've done a lot with our horses in the last five years, and I dang sure don't want to boast to get about that. What the Best Remuda Award to me goes back whatever from the from the beginning people's been watching our horses we've been selling a few horses here and there and it's not what i've done even though we've done a lot in the last few years that's not me but uh, our horses have and uh, it's uh whenever that award first came out i said we're going to win this someday and i don't when i a matter of fact i told the gene williams uh, uh, ceo or the, the president of the corporation i said We'll win that award someday. And uh, I was 
it meant a lot to me to win it. I mean, it was a nice award, which especially look at the people who's won it before you and the people who will win it. Uh, it's, I was glad to get it. Bob retired from the Pitchfork in 2007 after 34 years of service and joined the ranch's board of directors. His humble attitude carries over to his personal accolades and contributions. Morehouse has been instrumental in the promotion of the ranch horse and was part of developing several programs and organizations that showcase the horse's talents. He helped develop the American Quarter Horse Association Versatility Ranch Horse Program and helped lead the charge of the formation of the Ranch Horse Association of America, where he serves as director. Bob believes in preserving ranching heritage and the elements of cowboy life that are so enduring to us all. He serves as a director for the Working Ranch Cowboys Association and participated in the first World Championship Ranch Rodeo. He also has demonstrated his cowboy and horsemanship skills at various ranch rodeos and ranch horse competitions for many years. Paired with Sir 49, also known as Tex, Bob won numerous ranch horse competitions including the WRCA Ranch Horse Show Senior Horse Division, two Ranch Horse Association of America Championships and one Reserve Championship, plus a Ranch Cutting Horse Award along with many performances in ranch rodeos. Tex, uh, if you can get through that dry work and nod to that cow, you just kind of grab the saddle horn and hang on. It's fun then. <laughs> the two make a formidable pair in and out of the arena and have even been cast in a bronze by Western sculptor Harold Holden. He also has been tapped as a judge for the popular and growing Road to the Horse event and other equine competitions. Bob's service to the ranching and horse industries also includes positions with several organizations. He has been an American Quarter Horse Association director for Texas since 1993, serving on several committees and currently sits on the Stud Book and Registration Committee. Bob also holds directorships for the Texas and Southwestern Cattle Raisers and Southwestern Exposition and Livestock Show. He serves on the advisory board for the National Ranching Heritage Center. His insight into the cowboy life has been featured on numerous television programs, including AQHA's America's Horse, Modern Marvels on the History Channel, and Texas Parks and Wildlife Magazine on PBS. He's also been featured in countless magazine articles in such magazines as Southwest Passages. Yet this man, who is cowboy through and through, also happens to be a very talented photographer. Photography piqued Bob's interest more than 20 years ago. Uh, when I first came here, I had a little 35 millimeter camera and I thought, I want to show my dad these wild turkeys. And I had a little, probably a normal lens, 50 millimeter, 55 lens, and they're probably 50 yards off, about like those are. And I photographed them and got film back. Of course, I'm sure it's print film back then. You couldn't even see the turkey. and. Uh, Got a friend, Wyman Menger, Lizzie Benjamin, raised up with him. He's on a ranch down there, and he's a professional photographer and writer, and published several books. And uh, he said, "Well, we've got to get a little bit more serious equipment if you want to do this." He said, "You're in a great place." He said, and as a matter of fact, he came down. We put up blinds and we photographed a lot of turkey, and still photographed together some. And it, it uh, just went from that. He said, "You got to be, get a better lens. You got to get a bigger lens." And, and so I just kept on improving my equipment. His subjects are wildlife and the cowboy life. Through his lens, he captures the essence of cowboy life as it happens. His photographs aren't staged. Bob is right there in the action, riding horseback with his camera. Number one, I'm there as a cowboy. I'm not there as a photographer. But if I can slip in a couple and shoot, you know, it's, it, it's fun to kind of uh, document the ranch in this era. His first cover was for Progressive Farmer magazine in 1982, and since that time his work has been featured in many popular magazines including Field and Stream, Texas Highways, The Cattleman, Texas Parks and Wildlife, American Cowboy, Western Horseman, and the American Quarter Horse Journal. His photography was an exhibit in 1993 at the American Quarter Horse Hall of Fame and Museum in Amarillo. Hoof Beats on the Pitchfork Ranch, photography by Bob Morehouse, went on to become a traveling exhibit, the first of its kind for the museum. 
The exhibit was on tour for two years and was featured in museums in six states and in Europe, including the National Cowboy Hall of Fame and Western Heritage Museum, Cowboy Artists of America Museum, and Museum of the Horse. In 2003, Pitchfork Country, the photography of Bob Morehouse was published. This is Bob's first book and was received with great praise, not only for the stunning photography, but also for capturing real ranch life in action. Morehouse's photography has garnered awards, including Best of Show at the 2007 WRCA Art Show. Like a cowboy as a string of good horses, Morehouse has a string of prestigious awards and honors. He was inducted into the Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame received a bronze star on the Fort Worth Stockyards Walk of Stars, and earned the Working Ranch Cowboy Award at the Stamford, Texas Cowboy Reunion. Texas Tech also was honored Bob with two distinguished alumni awards, a Hall of Fame Graduate of Distinction through the Department of Animal and Food Sciences, and a Distinguished Alumnus in recognition of professional achievement and contribution to society by the College of Agricultural Sciences. In 2007, Western Horseman magazine named Morehouse Western Horseman of the Year. Bob's crowning achievement is his family. Wife Linda has been his partner for 37 years. The couple has two daughters, Amy and Carrie Ann, who were raised on the pitchfork. Amy and her husband, Chad Lee, live in Fort Worth and Carrie lives in West Hollywood. Through all his successes, achievements, and awards, Bob Morehouse remains a humble and sincere cowboy who tips his hat to a lady. He epitomizes the gentleman cowboy qualities our society still holds in high regard and is a worthy recipient of the Golden Spur Award.